Okay, so now what I've got to deal with is this. We've got a reduction of $51,664 on... Uh, Transportation. And then another 60000 on vehicle maintenance because uh, it's going to be funded by the 2017. New replacement. Equipment replacement, not vehicle maintenance. Thank you. Okay. New equipment, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. So we got reductions on the table of $111,664, which we're going to be considering. And so one could say, well, that gives us a little wiggle room in terms of this this need for, you know, potentially more maintenance. So I've given you a few moments to think about that a little further. If you want to have something more to say about how we could be advantaged by spending, putting more money in that subline item. I think I was clear that I said double it from essentially 45 to 90 would be what I would like you to do. So take back part of the 60 credit and the 50 credit and add 45 to that line. Well, that's what I was looking at for the pitch, but I'm trying to figure out how can I get a sense of ROI on doing that, return on investment. Your only return on investment is, with that particular thing, is averting loss uh, or averting risk. Um, you pick up trash. Something that can be very putrid, can, you know, something that can uh, detrimentally, I think, affect the residents and the businesses and the beach area. So it's something we are obligated to do. So I, I can't really consider it a return on investment. My car I need to get to work every day. I don't really consider that a return, a return on investment. It's my duty to get here safely. Um, so. Um, just like wastewater, I don't think there's a return on investment in that, at least a not uh, acutely definable one. But it is, uh, you know, like Ben Moore said one time, you handle everything from shinola to snow, and that's my job. Last uh, winter, um, would you consider that a normal winter in terms of... Uh, more normal, yes. It was a normal winter. So we had a normal winter. We didn't have any great emergencies occur throughout the year. Right? Everything was more or less normal. They were all Sundays. There were all days our staff had off. All the snow. All the snow. All the snow. Yeah. Weekend work. It was all weekend work. So it was a normal year, which is pretty much all we really could plan for as a normal year was a little... Correct. Yeah, okay. The winter 14, 15, you, you really can't plan on. Right, exactly. Yeah. 120 inches of snow. And so... Take it. Having a normal year, you had budgeted approximately fifty thousand dollars on the vehicle maintenance. You spent slightly over eighty-three thousand dollars. No, no, Tim. No, that was actually that's twenty sixteen. No, they they've spent fifty-eight, fifty-eight eight. Seven, Thank you. Six. The actual is September thirtieth, but in twenty sixteen the full was eighty-three. Is correct. Yeah, but that's vehicle. Please don't equate vehicle maintenance for s trash collection has anything to do with snow. Oh, I understand. No, I'm, not, I'm not suggesting. That. Let me finish. <laughs> you got, you got that. You overspent that subline item. You got that money from somewhere else in your budget. Yeah. Uh, which was not under stress. And apparently, one of the places that was not under stress was your snow removal budget because of it being a normal winter. Yeah. So that's how I see the relationship there. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, at the moment, I'm not convinced that we should. Uh, do anything there because there's obviously room elsewhere in the budget should the need arise for the maintenance. If the, if the maintenance occurs, you're going to do it, period, anyway. Uh, and you'll find somewhere else because you've done that historically and there's no real issue there. And I'm going to shut up and I'll wait to help someone make the amendment that reduces this budget as we had previously discussed. Thank you very much.